Well, here we are again on a Wednesday afternoon or evening, depending on the time zone that you are in. Welcome to another concert. Uh, as a start, while people are finding us and joining the crew, uh, let me play a little bit of music here. This, some of you know my old song, Lord, Listen to Your Children Praying. My dear friend, Ken Dake, who's the director of music at um, Marble Collegiate Church in New York, did a, an arrangement of this. And I really think this is a classy arrangement. Uh, so I want you to hear it while we're waiting for uh, folks to join in. Lord, listen to your children pray. Lord, send your spirit in this place. to be very far away from the sound of a choir. Uh, I've talked before in these concerts about how, what choir means to me. So, today, uh, people have said, what in the world is this theme about juxtaposition? And here's my idea for this crazy concert. Songs that refer to the same activity, but in radically different ways. And the first few songs are about walking. And the first song we do takes me all the way back to when I was working on a degree in voice at Michigan State University uh, in my master's degree recital, which my wife Jane accompanied at the piano. The first song I sang was a song by George Frederick Handel. It's one of the first songs that young singers learn. And you know, um, it seems so simple. It seems like such a, just a beginner song, but really it's not. It's called Where'er You Walk. And now you, you got to understand one bit about language. It says, Where'er you walk, cool gales shall fan the glade. These are not hurricane force gales. These are like breezes. It's an old English word that means a cool breeze. Trees where you sit shall crowd into a shade. So here we go with Where'er You Walk by Handel. Okay. 
still shall fan the blade. Trees where you sit shall crowd into a shade. Trees where you sit shall crowd into National Speakers Association. This is the group of uh, motivational speakers that includes oh, Zig Ziglar and uh, all these f high powered motivational speakers. One of the speakers was a, a fellow named Les Brown, and he happened to be married at the time to Gladys Knight uh, of Gladys Knight and the Pips. And he um, persuaded Gladys to come and actually do a performance at the awards banquet at which a lot of speakers would get a special awards, you know, for the most speeches given or whatever they got awards for. And so this was a very fancy awards banquet and we were all dressed up. I had spent the week improvising songs at the end of each speech as a gift to the speaker. So they would put the speaker in a big easy chair and they would say, now Ken's going to improvise a song based on your speech. So the president of NSA, National Speakers Association, said to Gladys Knight, um, we've got this piano player, blind piano player, who makes up songs on the spot after every speaker. We'd like for him to do something with you. Can you imagine, I mean, what in the world am I in for? Gladys Knight said, very patiently, why sure? So, um, she said to me, what, what would you like to do? We didn't have a chance to rehearse. And I said, uh, do you never walk alone? Do, well, first of all, I sang a song to her based on about 12 of her songs, which, yeah, yeah was fun to do. And then, uh, so I said, I'll play for you. Uh, you'll never walk alone. And we'll do, a little, we'll do a little ride in the middle. We'll get into some fun stuff in the middle. She said, okay. 
and this is how it sounded. I can't sing Gladys' part, but I'll like this.
there's another walk-in song that I want to do because uh, it has to do with some lessons that I have been learning of late. The spiritual is Jesus walked this lonesome valley, had to walk it by himself. Oh, nobody else could walk it for him. And the second verse is you must go and stand your trial. And the, uh, given what I have been learning about racism these days, and about this whole idea of white privilege and the work that must be done to dismantle the systemic racism that is a part of our, that is, that is really our culture, period. And the thing is, there is work that I have to do and you have to do. There's, there are attitudes and prejudices that I need to get out of my life and that's probably the same for you. So the second verse is, I must find my own repentance. Like this. songs about walking. Uh, let's turn to another subject. Are we doing friends now? Yes. <laughs> songs about friendship. Two songs. Uh, one is a, um, <laughs> an old favorite, uh, Don't Tell Me. Uh, this song was written, uh, actually I was, I was asked to write this for another artist. And the uh, artist happened to be a uh, a black gospel singer. So I wrote this piece and the, the, the record company actually told me, you know, Ken, it's a good piece, but it, it sounds a little bit too black for where he is right now. So I don't know. This is called Don't Tell Me I've Got a Friend in Jesus. <laughs> Hey! 
I shall walk in the sun with you. I shall stand in the rain. I shall be with you when you wonder why, wonder why. I'll be glad when you are glad. I'll be there in your pain. I will be with you when it's time to cry. Some friendships flash like a rocket and then they fade away. Some friendships last for an hour and some last for a day. Oh, I don't know how to name this friendship and I won't even try. All I know is you need this connection We are bound together like sound and music, like sky and morning, like flowers and rain. Down the years on a thousand highways, we'll find I will tell you my secret name One that nobody else will ever know I will hold your hand when you feel alone Yes, I will, promise you I will I will follow the path of our friendship everywhere it goes I will learn when to leave you on your own Sparkle like diamonds, and then they turn to dust. Some people just keep trying harder, but they never do learn to trust. I don't know what to say to you sometimes. I don't know what to do. All I know is I need this connection and do you cause we are bound together like sound and music like sky and morning like flowers and rain down the years on a and highways will find each other time and time again I was thinking back today, I think this may be our 14th concert. We started on April the 18th. I got home from a trip on the 16th. We had decided we have to do a live Facebook event. Sonia came over that day and <laughs> we began this adventure, which uh, if, if, I, if my calculations are right, this is number 14. And I'm thinking, Mirma, what do you do if you run out of ideas? So 
I'm asking you for help. I really, this time, seriously asking you for help. Uh, in the next two weeks, I want to do a concert. Next week, I want to do a concert focused around the idea of table. In other words, things that happen at the table. Let's say, I mean, we've been eating a lot of meals at the home table these days, right? And sometimes there are conversations that happen at the table. Sometimes something happens at a meal that makes you stop and think, whoa, that came out of nowhere. Or sometimes um, there, there are moments of confession at a table. I did a, a scene with my friend Ted Schwartz uh, where, where two brothers are sitting at a table who are opposite sides of the political spectrum and they're having this conversation and it starts out with argument. You know, you're wrong, I'm right. I'm wrong, you're right, whatever. They're arguing about this and about that, about everything from government to um, the economy, blah, blah, blah. And they finish by talking about the things they have in common. Um, and after they talk about the things they have in common, one brother says, well, I'll see you at Christmas. We'll continue this. <laughs> so sometimes conversations happen at the table. Sometimes... Uh, you go back in your memory and you remember a time when a stranger ate at your table or you ate at a stranger's table. I never will forget a Thanksgiving table in Topeka, Kansas. I was a music therapy intern there uh, working at the state hospital and I, was, I had joined a small Baptist church and um, didn't, couldn't go home to Michigan on Thanksgiving. There wasn't enough time because I had to work the Friday after Thanksgiving. So this family from our church invited me to a Thanksgiving dinner. They had set up tables in the barn and they were going to have a big Thanksgiving dinner. I thought, uh, these, these were, these folks were, how am I going to say this? Sweet, sweet people. But we, we are about as different from one another as folks could be. But I, I, I thought, you know, I want to go to that meal and <laughs> walked into that barn, and I, there must have been a hundred people there. Fully half of them were homeless. And it was one of the most amazing table moments I've ever had. Um, I remember standing around the communion table at St. Gregory of Nyssa Episcopal Church in San Francisco, being passed the communion elements by a fellow congregant and passing them on. Those table moments, I'd like to focus on those next year, next week. We have a couple of issues that we may not get to today uh, that we'll finish up, but I'd like, for, I'd like some stories about moments at the table. And then the week after that, be thinking about this. The week after that is going to be about choices. And in these times... We all have choices to make. Am I going to walk a new and daring road? Am I going to dream a new dream? Am I going to find my own repentance about racial stuff? Am I going to cooperate with people who are trying to make the changes in the world? Am I, you know, we have, we have to make choices. Even the choice, am I going to go outside of my home in COVID times? So I want you to think about some hard choices that you had to make. And if you're willing, tell me a story about those choices. And then we'll see if we can put a bunch of music around that. Now, two ways you can tell this story. You can, you can message us on Facebook, or you can email me at ken at kenmedema.com. Let's do some more songs. Uh, what do we got, Sonia? This is the time. Oh, we got songs about time. Okay. Um, this is a song that I have almost never sung in concert, and I don't know for the life of me why, but it's called, th th these two songs are about time, and they're quite different, but they all, but they both have something to say about time. So this is called, This is the Time. It's the wrong time Here is a 
way, but you say it's the wrong way. You are the person, but you think that you're the wrong person to do what's calling to be done. This is a time, and it may be the right time. Here is a way, and it may be the right way. You are the person, and maybe you're the right person to do what's calling to be done. some plans that you're making you got some dreams that you're dreaming one of these days the world will see you come alive you know your time is coming you hear your drummer drumming but till that time you just got to survive You say it won't be much longer You know you're afraid of the unknown behind that door And if you keep on waiting If you keep hesitating You'll get too weary to dream anymore You'll get too weary to dream anymore that with this time to sit by a lazy lake and watch the waves making love to the shore I want time jet black night and watch the stars as they dance across the sky I want time time to watch a tiny baby sleep time to hold a little girl who's Time to sit with the old man when he is dying, or watch the young birds learn the art of flying. I don't want much, I just want time this time. That's your part, goes like this. I don't want much, I just want time this time. Sing it with me, okay? Try it. I don't want much. I just want time this time. Time to walk on a 
sandy beach Put my feet in the cool, cool sea I want time Time to walk in a town I've never seen the sounds of life all around me I want time Time to read a book right to its ending Time to hold someone who needs me friending Time to learn the wonder I don't want much, I just want time this time. Sing it over again, I don't want much, I just want time this time. Time to stop and time to dance, time to be safe. Or take a chance Time to give and time to take Time to mend And time to break Time to learn the wisdom of the ages. Time to learn the wisdom of a child. I want time. Time to watch the colors of the rainbow. Time to walk into the coming night. I want time. songs quite different, all about time. Let's go to songs about seeing. Hmm? Uh, the, first, <laughs> the first of these is a song I wrote a long time ago. Um, I don't remember the background, the story behind the song, but it's all about seeing. And then the second of those is I See America. And I sang that before. By the way, we do have a, a track now for the song I See America. Um, we have an MP3 or we can put it on a CD and it comes with a scratch vocal which you can hear and then you can uh, hear the track and sing along with it. So if you're looking for something for the 4th of July uh, for your church or for you to sing or for somebody else to sing, check out our track for I See America. But first, let me sing Did You. <laughs> Did you? Here we go. Did you ever see 
Did you ever feel the sun rise? Hear the coming of the dawn. Did you ever kneel on spring grass when the winter snow is gone? Did you ever feel a friend smile? Put your arms around a tree. Did you ever touch a newborn baby? Isn't that a lovely way to see? Now. Let's go. I have seen the white sand beaches near the town where I was born. I've seen the springtime forests fresh and green. I've walked along the highways by the fields of standing corn, and I've breathed the mountain air so fresh and clean. But I've been in other places where it's hard to breathe the air, and the high rise holocaust blocks the morning sun. The little ones play in the dirty streets, and no one seems to care. America's children, look what we have done. From sea to sea I've seen the dauntless pilgrims Who came from foreign shores And braved the raging peril of the sea suffer hardship, I've seen them risk their lives in war, in order that a people might be free. I've seen how first Americans were driven from their land, and I've seen slave ships come from far away. Tall. I've seen them teach the 
their children so the dream would never fade. And I've seen them stand to answer freedom's call. I've seen how greed and carelessness can wipe the dream away. And I've seen it makes a nightmare instead. isn't quite that complicated. <laughs> the track is uh, much simpler. It doesn't have all that crazy harmony at the end and all that bouncing around. It's, uh, it's a little bit more straightforward. We have time to do a couple of songs all about hands. Um, first of all, I want you to hear a song that comes out of um, the labor and protest movement of the 1920s, 30s, and 40s. This is during the Depression and right after. Um, names you may know like Pete Seeger and Lee Hayes, people like that were, were singing protest songs at this time. And this is, the, this is a song really from the point of view of a worker um, who sings about his hands. It's called The Song of My Hands, and I thought it might be fun to hear the original recording, and thanks to uh, Kathy Shambly, my uh, dogged researcher who's done some work on this piece, uh, we think it was recorded probably around 1946, which is actually when I was about three years old. It's an old, scratchy record. It first came out on 78 RPM, uh, for those of you who don't know what 78 RPM, well, you know about vinyl because vinyl's coming back now, but we had these, uh, back in the day, we had these Victrolas, they called them, that you, you would wind up, and then you'd put the record on the turntable and you'd put the needle on the record and then you'd go. Uh, before I sing this, let me, let me just mention about donation. If you want to donate to this work that... Um, we see about four or 5,000 people a week who hear this uh, concert and they tell us, this is, this is like an oasis for me, so I want to keep it going. I want to keep it going for a long time, <laughs> especially since our road gigs are all canceled. So if, if, if you'd like to donate, you can donate to a nonprofit. Uh, you can have a tax-free contribution to interlude retreats. Dot org interlude retreats dot org you can go on my website kenmedema.com or there's a donate uh, button that you'll see and any amount uh, is greatly greatly appreciated and also if you'll go to our website kenmedema.com and download one song not even a whole album download one song and there are samples for a lot of the songs there so download one song uh, that will help us a great deal. Now, let's listen to um, Bernie Asbell in 1946 singing the song of...
of my hands. Wrong song. This is a song about working hands. A lover sings of his own true love. A sailor sings of the sea. And what can I be singing of but of my only property? I'll sing a song of my hands. The call of the midnight train echoing down in the mine. The hiss of the steel and the grind of the crane and the rumble of the assembly line. That is the song of my hands. And he goes on to sing about these hands are strong, these hands are free, no one will, uh, no one will buy me in slavery. Then he, then he asks, what will you pay for these hands of mine? What will you pay? What will you pay? I build your houses. I till your land. I make your machines and I make them run. What will you pay for my hands? So this song now from the year 2007, it's called, I've Got These Hands. Okay, here we go. I see the mother who cannot feed her children. I see the young boy begging in the street. I see the old man homeless for so many years. His voice is covered beneath the sound of rushing Oh, 
I've got this mouth for speaking, and I've got these ears for listening. I want to find my place now, and I want to do my part now. I've seen too much already. I want to see is change. And to finish tonight, I want to tell you a story. I was, uh, this was going to be the new verse of the song is alive and I was going to sing the whole story and I told the story yesterday to a black uh, music colleague of mine the music director at my church and I said so what do you think and she said don't sing it and I said why she said you're bringing emotion and tears to white folks about black suffering and we don't want that. We want you to do the work. She said, tell the story. Don't make a song out of it. Don't make an emotional, uh, you know, tear-jerking song. Just tell the story. So, Andy, I'll just tell the story. My friend, preacher Andy, told me this story. He said about 10 years ago, he was in a class at Princeton Seminary. He's a, been a preacher for a long time. He's retired now. He was in a class at Princeton Seminary, and they were talking, it was going to be a class about the, the, the racial conversation in the church, how to have this conversation. And um, so there were some white folk and, and some black folk, and, and Preacher Sam joined the class. Preacher Sam t told the class this story. He said, every time I'm with white people, I stutter. And he said, when I was 10 years old, my father took me up to the top of the hill one night and said, son, we're going to hide behind these trees because there's something that you have to see. And preacher Sam said, the, the folk began to come and they were clapping and cheering, all the white folks, they were clapping and cheering. And then came the man with their hoods on, dragging a black man behind them. And then they did the awful deed, the lynching. And Pastor Sam said, as we were walking back, my daddy said to me, son, I show you this because I want you to know what white folk do to black folk. So the conversation was had. Uh, everyone told their stories, some honest, open conversation. A lot of it was very uncomfortable, says Andy. But they had the conversation, and by the time the class was over, Preacher Sam was able to face white people without stuttering. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing this hour with me. Remember, you can donate to Interlude. Org, org, or go on my website, download a song, a story about table events that happened at the table, or a story about a hard choice you had to make for the week after that. Got a couple of songs to finish up. One is called God Knows Why. You won't want to miss that one. At least I don't want to miss it. Oh, the song is alive everywhere. Oh, the song is alive everywhere. And you are the ones who get to give the pitch. But oh, the song is alive everywhere. The song is alive everywhere. Goodbye for now. See you in a week. Let us know what you're thinking.